Hey, it's Meredith, and this is lesson number 28 of 30 Days of GoPro. I'm gonna answer a simple but very frequently asked question. What computer do I need to edit my GoPro videos? So to back up a second, you don't actually need to edit your GoPro videos. You could upload them directly to YouTube or Facebook or Instagram or wherever. But if you wanna do more with your clips, like string multiple clips together, add background music, titles, transitions, what you're talking about there is video. Video editing. You can do some of that on your phone and I covered some popular apps for video editing back in uh, video number 24. But personally I edit my GoPro videos on my computer because it's faster, it's easier, it's just more convenient for me and that's what I prefer to use. But a lot of times new GoPro users find that their computer isn't exactly up to speed so to speak for editing their videos. So if you need to buy a computer or upgrade your existing computer, what should you look for if you wanna be editing your GoPro videos with your computer? First of all, I always like to recommend that you buy the fastest computer that you can afford. So we're talking about the processor speed and the RAM or the memory. My current computer is a 13 inch MacBook Pro that I hook up to a 27 inch Thunderbolt display. So it's a laptop and it has a 2.9 gigahertz i5 processor and eight gigabytes of RAM. What does that even mean, right? Well, to compare to the current lineup of 13 inch MacBook Pros, uh, currently you would be able to get a processor anywhere from 2.3 gigahertz to 3.5, depending on which model you choose. And then they have this turbo boost up to four gigahertz. I don't even really know what the turbo boost is, but it sounds great. And you can get eight or 16 gigabytes of RAM. I highly recommend you get 16 gigabytes of RAM. I wish I did. The current lineup of MacBook Pros also come with a one terabyte solid state hard drive, which is a pretty good upgrade from my 500 gigabyte hard disk drive. So you have more space and it's gonna be faster as well. Now, hard drive space isn't that big of a deal to me. Yes, video takes up a lot of space on your computer, but you can always have an external hard drive or multiple external hard drives. That's not that big of a deal. And it's actually pretty common when you're doing a lot of video stuff to have an external hard drive. For more speed and RAM, you would wanna consider getting a desktop. Like an iMac where you can get up to 64 gigabytes of RAM and up to a 4.2 gigahertz processor. So that's a lot faster than my MacBook. And then if you're a PC user, you wanna consider the same specs. How fast is the processor? How much RAM does it have? I'm a Mac girl myself, so I can't recommend any specific PC brands to you. Just remember, when it comes to editing videos, don't cheap out on your computer. The goal is not to get the cheapest computer you can find, it's to get the fastest computer computer you can afford. And no matter what type or brand computer you're looking for, laptop, PC, whatever, uh, if you go to the Apple Store or Best Buy or wherever you go, just let the salesperson know you're gonna be editing video and they should be able to steer you in the right direction. So things to remember, processor speed, you're probably gonna be looking at the Intel Core i7 processor, uh, somewhere around three gigahertz or more. You wanna have at least 16 gigabytes of RAM. If you can bump it up to 30, two or more, I think I'd, I'd, yeah, I'd be jealous. And for the hard drive, you probably wanna get at least 500 gigabytes, if not more, and a solid state hard drive or SSD is gonna be a little faster than the hard disk drive. And as far as graphics cards, I think these days m most people are doing gaming and videos and stuff like that, and the computer should have a pretty decent graphics card, but again, if you go to someplace like Best Buy, you can ask your salesperson and hopefully they'll steer you in the right direction. So now that you're up to speed on computers for editing your videos, in the next lesson, I'm gonna tell you what software is really great for beginners who are just starting out with video editing and editing their GoPro videos. So stay tuned for lesson number 29, and don't forget to go grab my GoPro settings cheat sheet back in video number one. See you next time. Bye.